move over FedEx and UPS. N4 Years is the new player in the field of parcel delivery with us, the founders. Hi guys, please describe for us in a nutshell, what is N4 Years exactly? Hi, so it's very, very simple actually. It's like Airbnb, but for international delivery. So wherever you are in the world, you can get a traveler to get you whatever you need. So um, actually it's really simple how it works is that you post a listing of whatever you need and then we connect you with a traveler that's willing to bring your item for a small commission. And the website uh, secures the whole process, so make sure your money is safe. Okay, and so who are the customers um, of Envoyers? At first, we really built the service out for travelers, people who are living abroad, who travel long term. Um, but then, especially in, in uh, developing parts of the world, there's a lot of people who have a hard time getting things delivered. Uh, so that's our global market. So anyone in the country where traditional shipping isn't very efficient. But at first, we're really targeting expats, travelers, uh, for who it's just really hard to get things delivered. So really the things you miss from home? Uh, the things you miss from home or just the things you don't have access to. So it doesn't have, we're from Canada. So yes, we miss uh, maple syrup, but more seriously, I, I, I need a specific kind of shampoo that I use back home. And, and then also some brands that I could find in, in a bunch of countries, not just my home, but that I can't find in Singapore or in Bali where we used to live. So was, would this also be the reason why I would use M4 years and not say TEDx or oh, TEDx, FedEx? <laughs> <laughs> I think the main reason actually is that um, I feel like when you, when you use FedEx, you need to have someone back home that sends you that product. So you need to bother your mom or your friends. Uh, and obviously you don't want to pay them for that, but you still have to ask for, um, for that. And then you have to um, make sure it gets to where you are. So I feel like having just someone that is flying your way and giving a little commission to that traveler is much more simpler and meeting them at the airport. And how do you make sure this platform is safe and not being used for example smuggling drugs? Yeah, we take, uh, we take that very seriously actually. One thing we've implemented is that the only items we allow are items that your envoy, the person bringing, uh, can by themselves. So for example, we can't bring the pair of shoes that you forgot back home, uh, but if you need someone to buy you a pair of shoes and bring it, uh, then that's totally fine. So this way when you're carrying something, you know it's something you've purchased yourself, uh, so there's no risk of someone having put something into it. Cool, thank you for joining us guys, and if uh, you people at home want to send your packet today, make sure to check out our website. <laughs>